Hey guys, stay tuned and see how I assembled this flower that Melody Lane had designed for us in Design Space. If you're not a supporter of her on Patreon, you need to become one so you can get access to this file and hundreds of others. Okay guys, so I'm going to assemble the flower, but I first wanted to show you. I use some of my Distress Ink and some of my Oxide Distress Ink also. So here's what I'm doing. I'm trying to think, maybe think about doing a shadow on the leaves, I mean, on the petals of the flower. So here is the Broken China one, which you really can't tell. It gives a very faint um, shadow here. It's right here on the side. It's hard to tell on the camera, but you can see it in person. Here is the Faded Jean, the um, Distress Oxide. I really like this one the best. I think it's the one I'm going to go with. And then also I tried some with the Distress Ink uh, Black Soot. It was a little too harsh. I didn't really like it. So just wanted to show you some ideas what I'm going to do. I'm going to do mine a little different. So now we're going to start the assembly. Okay guys, so now we're going to start shading the sides of the petals real quick before we curl them. So I got my Distress Oxide Ink. If you haven't bought any of these yet, they're amazing. And I believe Amazon still has them on sale um, for like $57, I think, for all 12 of them, which is an amazing price because they used to be $80. So <clears throat> we'll start with the largest ones and work our way back to the smaller ones. So you have three sets of uh, sizes of petals, as you see here. And so we're, like said, we're gonna start with the largest one first. And there's six of each size. If you haven't already watched, uh, look, um, I'll put a link in my description, which I already have a link to her YouTube page. But there, Melody Lane just done a video on how to do these and assemble them, and it was an amazing video. And so I'm just giving my little twist on how I do it, and I always encourage people to uh, support Melody because she has been a major help to me, and to, I'm sure, thousands of others. So I just put a little bit on my sponge here, and I start on my uh, craft paper first, craft mat first, sorry, and I just work around. I just want to do like the tips and I'll speed this up so it doesn't take forever but I just wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm doing here Okay, so now we have them all shaded, and now we got to start curling them. Pretty much the best way is if you have a bone folder and a little bit of water to mist your paper very lightly. And I just like to pull up onto them, something like that. On the big petals, you're going to fold them back, and um, Melody Lane had suggested using water, which works really well because it helps hold the cur or the curl. You just it's just very small amount of water is all it takes, and then you just put on your counter. This is my favorite way to do this, and just pull up. And see, curls. So that's what you want to do on all your petals, except for the small ones, you want to curl them in a little bit. Not real t much, but the little petals need to be curled in. Okay. 
Okay, so now we got them all curled here. And now the next step is to uh, the slits down here. And you need to see it pull apart. You need to glue it. Like this. So it actually helps pop the pedal up. So I take this one, pull it over. See how the pedal pops up? Pretty cool. And um, a hot glue gun is what you're going to need to put just a little hot glue right there. So I just have my standard one here. Not anything fancy. And um, while I'm waiting for it to warm up here, we'll pull these apart real quick. Hopefully the shading around the edges look nice. I hope so. I just wanted to try something a little different. So, once again, I know I say this a lot in my videos, but if you haven't already, definitely check out Melody Lane, um, both her YouTube channel and her Patreon if you can support her. Um, if you support her, you'll get access to this file and make this flower, which I was so thankful she finally did one of these. I've been wanting to make a, a large 3d flower like this and she's so good at making files and adding her own touches to them so I, that's the reason why i support her and i encourage if you can afford it to um, to support her. for a dollar a month is a minimum and you get access to the files just for a dollar a month so i mean very cheap um, there are different tiers you can uh, get more reward or benefit by the more you give to her and that's up to your situation if you can but i would highly encourage you to check it out and those links are always in my description because I really appreciate what she's done and helped me out so I always try to help her out all right so all pulled apart let's see if the hot glue gun is ready yep it is so now like I said we'll just take the little slit here and Bend it over like that so it'll pop the leaf up or the petal up. Like this. I use just very uh, minimal amount of hot glue. As like Melody pointed out in her video, the less you use, the less weight it'll be, so you don't have to worry about the flower falling or having a hard time hanging on the floor or wall. So here are the petals. And now we're going to show you how we assemble. Okay, so now let's start the fun part of assembly. You always start with your biggest petals first. And this little hexagon that she designed uh, is just a guide mainly of where you want to put things. There's six petals, so six sides. Depending on where you put it is how wide or you know, how big around your flower is going to be. So I like for it just to be about right about there. So then you're going to add some glue. And you'll just do that to all of them now. We'll probably speed this up a little bit so it doesn't take so much time.
Okay, so as you guys seen there, I've seen that I didn't have it quite spaced apart right, so that's why I kind of ripped them out. Which is nice about this project, as long as it's gentle and easy, you can just rip the pedal out and always be hot glued, as you can see there, and reposition. So now we'll start with the next ones. And these will go in between. And now the little petals will go in between all these. And these are the ones we curled up a little bit. All right, now we're going to show you how we assemble the inner pieces. And these might be curled a little too much. We can always uncurl these here in a moment. I'll show you how we do that. Okay, so now I moved the flower out of our way. And in this file, I made the larger flower, she called it, which is in the middle. Then you have a smaller, large, larger, and largest. So I did the larger. And so she gives you two of these. And the best way to do this is just fold it and don't want to bend it. You just want to fold them down. I'm going to make that loop and keep the loop. If some um, bend, that's okay. Let's just put a little bit here. And this is the Cricut uh, Pearl Paper, which I love. I love all Cricut Paper. Um, they usually always have sales every few months. Um, that's when I stock up. I know there's one going on right now. This is June of 2017. And it's the amazing paper because it has a shimmer to it, it has that pearlescent look and I just really like it. So just keep folding over. I really need to get one. I ordered one of those um, hot glue mats like Melody had in her video. It's just not come yet. Not got it yet because that will save your mat a lot when you get this glue oozing out of here. You really don't need much for this pearl paper. This pearl paper is pretty lightweight, so it's not that strong of a force. Okay, so that's what it should look like here. Now like you said you want to maintain that loop. And we'll do the other one real fast too. Okay, so now we need to um, roll them. And the looser you roll them, the larger round it's gonna be. It's kinda hard to get started, I do know that. And just start putting a little bit of glue as you go. Now we'll just add on. We'll definitely have this set for a second so it gets a good hold. piece there and now let's hold it for a second to make sure it all holds but now you can sit here and fan it out a little bit and it made it much larger so now we're going to attach it into our flower and all you'll do is here's the base I just put a whole bunch of glob of glue right in the center and I just stick it in on it. And try to fluff up our 
center there a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to show you, um, because I don't really like how these are folded in so much, so I'm going to show you a little bit on folding them back a little bit. I've got the Cricut quilling tool. It has a little slit, but you can put it on the very tip and do that. Sometimes it's a little hard to get started. Bring it up on the very tip of that. Twist. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, once again, I want to thank Melody for making this file. I'm very excited for it. I've always wanted to, like I said, make one of these. and. She finally made up the file and made it just so much simpler. And all, like I said, I'll put that link in my description. And as always, if you guys haven't already, um, subscribe to my channel. I love doing how-to videos and reviews of crafting items. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to share the video with your loved ones and friends that like craftiness. And um, also, I put uh, in my description a link to Ken's Creations. He's another person I really like to support and help. He does great reviews and crafting videos. So that's all in the description below. And also there's links to my social media. And if you guys want to um, contact me on any of those, you're welcome to. And if you'd like to ever send me anything, which you're not obligated to, I really do enjoy getting homemade cards. So, And you can always get my address from one of those, um, contact me on one of my social links. So thanks again, you guys, for watching. And have a good day. Bye.